What's going on guys, the CTA Prime back here again. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to get Redream up and running on your Raspberry Pi 4 running Raspbian. Now, before we get started here, if you're not familiar with installing Raspbian, I have a full tutorial. And if you're not familiar with overclocking your Raspberry Pi 4, I also have a tutorial. Links for both of those will be in the description. So getting this up and running on the Raspberry Pi 4 running Raspbian is very easy to do, but there are a few things that I have here that you might need. First up, a controller. I'm using an Xbox One S controller. I'm just gonna connect it over USB. Next thing being a USB drive or a USB hard drive just to get your games over to the Raspberry Pi very easily. You can transfer them from your Windows machine or you could download them directly from whatever website you wanna download them from. And finally, I do recommend overclocking your Raspberry Pi, but when overclocking, you will need sufficient cooling for the Pi 4. I'm using a Flirt case, and I have my CPU overclocked to 2 GHz, and my GPU is overclocked to 650 MHz. So with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and get started. First things first, I'm up and running with Raspbian on my Raspberry Pi 4. I am connected over Wi-Fi so I can get online and download Redream from the website. Redream is free to use, but you can purchase Redream for desktop, and I do recommend doing it. It definitely supports the dev. So if I go here to get for desktop, upgrade to premium, it's five bucks, and unfortunately they do not have a PayPal option. But like I said, you can use it for free. You're just not going to be able to upscale and change a few other settings inside of Redream. I have absolutely nothing to do with Redream whatsoever. I just personally really like it for Windows, Android, and now the Raspberry Pi 4. So we're going to head to download. And as of making this video, it's still under development for the Raspberry Pi. But in the future, it will be listed under the stable releases. So you see this little Pi logo here. I'm going to grab the earliest one. It's going to download for me. We don't need any BIOS. All we're going to need is some Dreamcast games. I'm going to show in folder. It's in my download section. I'm going to double click. And I'm going to extract the files. I don't want to extract them to a temporary folder. I'm going to extract them to my download section. So I'll click open and extract. So we're now extracted. Inside of my downloads folder, I have Redream here. If you have the premium version, download your license and place it right in here. It's all you need to do. I do have one. I'm gonna go ahead and grab it real quick. So I have my license file here, or my Redream key, and I'm just gonna place it in my Redream folder. This is gonna unlock the premium features. So to start Redream on the Raspberry Pi running Raspbian, all we're going to need to do is double click on the Redream application here and execute. It's going to start up Redream for us. As you can see, we don't have any games. I can go to my library, input to map my controllers, video, and since I have the premium version, I can change the internal resolution. But for the Raspberry Pi 4, I do recommend going to the lowest resolution. 640 by 480. And also change the window size to 1280 by 720. We also have system. I leave everything like it is. I'm going to exit Redream. And I have some Dreamcast games on a USB drive. I'm just going to plug it into one of my USB 3.0 ports on the Pi 4. Make it a little faster here. And while I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and plug in my Xbox controller. It's an Xbox One controller connected over USB. If you want to use a PS3 or PS4 controller, you can connect over Bluetooth with this little icon here. So now I'm going to open up my USB drive. I have a folder in here called Dreamcast, and I just placed a few games. I'm going to run these from the USB drive, but you can put these on the internal storage. You can place them on your desktop or anywhere. They'll transfer over to the SD card. So now I have my controller plugged in and I have some games. We're going to relaunch Redream. And my games already showed up. If your games for some reason don't show up, go up to library at the very top and add your directory. Very easy to do. Another thing I always do when I'm using an Xbox One controller is go to input, customize binds, and I change my left trigger just remap it, and I also change my menu button. And the very last thing, video, I turn my frame counter on so I can see the FPS. All that's left to do is start playing.
You now have Redream up and running on your Raspberry Pi 4. Like I said, it's really easy to do. If you need help installing Raspbian, I got a full tutorial. If you need help overclocking, I also have that listed in the description. To exit, you can go to your main menu and it'll bring us right back to the Raspbian desktop. Everything works in Redream like it would in Android or Windows. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I really appreciate you watching. I just wanted to put this out there real quick because I know there'll be a lot of people interested in this. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. But like always, thanks for watching.